use your suitcase? For what? You bring out the big suitcase for a trip like this? Ah. Uh, you pack a lot of stuff in the small suitcase. You want to stay with the small suitcase, but uh, you just pack more stuff in it. So it's it's pretty full. Uh, luckily, I have a home down there, so I can uh, I can get laundry done, so I don't have to do uh, as bad with that. Do you know if Steve or Ozzy might have any impact in these upcoming stretchy games? To see Steve, uh, you know, trained again today, so he's been able to lift up his training. Uh, you know, he's not going to go with us to LA. Uh, so then we'll see how he uh, how he performs on Monday, Tuesday, and uh, you know see how it looks like for him for the weekend. Yeah. If it is uh, Mike McGee out and Robbie Rogers in, what does that do to the Galaxy? Uh, you know, I mean, it's hard it's hard to say, you know, because Robbie hasn't played any games with them yet. I mean, he's more of an out and out winger, you know, where McGee is a sort of a pseudo winger, pseudo forward. Uh, and, you know, gets inside a little bit more. Uh, so, you know, maybe changes a little bit how they play, and it'll probably take them a little bit of time to coordinate all that, you know, within their team. But uh, it's, uh, you know, certainly it'll make a change within their team. That being part of the game on Sunday, I don't know if he's going to be able, if they're going to be able to get his ITC in time. You know, I think that's still up in the air right now uh, at this stage. Uh, you know, I know Robbie sent me a, a text this morning, you know, telling me that uh, he hopes to see me on Sunday. But uh, I said, I hope to see you, but not on the field. <laughs> <laughs> you spent so much of your career in LA. Is, is this trip still something that's special to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously I still maintain a home there and, you know, and I, you know, when you coach at UCLA for, for 20 years and you were at the Galaxy for, I don't know what it was, close to five, you know, there's a, there's a lot of time, you know, that's, uh, that's certainly, uh, in relation to the city, but, uh, but Seattle's my team, Seattle's my home and, uh, Seattle's, uh, the team I'm bringing onto the field to win. A lot of people wondered if Chicago would receive fair compensation and kind of the position they were put in. Do did you feel that, you know, it, it would be an equitable trade? Yeah, I think it's an equitable trade. Uh, you know, when you look at some of the reports out there, you know, you know, McGee just turned 29. Uh, you know, Robbie's going to turn 26. So the age difference isn't as great as it appears when they say 29 and 25. And, uh, and McGee's been a, a very, uh, 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 I can say, one of the players who's come through in important games for them. Uh, you know, his home is Chicago. That's where he's from. So I guess it works out well uh, for him also. But, uh, you know, I think it's I think it's a pretty fair trade. You can't always say that about a lot of trades in this league, uh, you know, like the Gabriel Farfan to, uh, from Philly to Chivas trade. But uh, this one, I think, is a pretty fair trade. Did you all ever reach out to Chicago about possibility or did it always seem he was going to be L.A. bound? Well, you know, obviously that was the, that was the first discussion. You know, I mean, we we had expressed interest. You know, that if there was something there, we certainly would like to participate in the, in the discussion. But uh, you know, never really got to that point. It seems that you know the transcending moment is imminent at some point. I mean, does does that register with you as someone who came to know Robbie? Uh, you know, I think it's all about it's all about him as a as a soccer player at this stage. You know, I mean, uh, you know, it's about him getting back on the field, him playing well, him getting back to the level where he was uh, a national team player, and and I think that's what the focus has got to be. You know, everybody in their personal lives has has things uh, that uh, that make them different. You know, or or are unique to them in one way or another. But I think the focus on the soccer field is, is what you do on, on the soccer field. And for me, you know, I'm happy that Robbie's back. Uh, I'm happy that he's playing. You know, I think he, uh, he shouldn't have stepped away uh, because of the off the field thing. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't think anybody should step away from an off the field situation if they can stay on the field. And, uh, but it's a, it's a great opportunity for him uh, and to make a statement. But at the end of the day, he's going to get judged by his ability to play the game. Me preguntaron si podría hacer un anuncio y pensé que era porque yo juego para los Seattle Sanders. No puedo porque mi inglés no es muy bueno. That's true. Entonces me dijeron que el anuncio era de padres, niños y familias. Eso es muy importante para mí y le dije que yo hago lo que puedo hacer. No importa cuál idioma tú hablas, hay un idioma universal que nuestros niños comprenden y necesitan. Yes, el amor y el cariño de los padres. Be a good parent, the same ball in your child's life. 